Welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. In today's video you will learn about another two JavaScript array methods. Sum and Every. In order to show that I have created a file called array method.js and I have also created an array with few elements. And the array contains people data, name and age as attributes. Okay guys, in order to explain, let me create a variable const is any adult adult equals to I'm looping through the people array people dot sum and I'm taking each each element as person person and let me use arrow function people dot age and greater than 18 here here actually what's happening is if at least one element fulfill the condition it returns to in this example we have 56 33 and 47 and all three elements fulfills the condition so it should return true in this exam example so let me show you the output is any adult is any adult let me run the code and as you can see is any adult true okay guys i hope you understand the concept and let's check let's deal with every and to do that const is everyone adult and people dot every and just like for sum so i am using arrow function person person dot age greater than 18 so in this case actually we have 17 and it should return false in this example however we will see the output even though we have 56 33 and 47 we have one element which doesn't fulfill the condition which is 17 and let me clear the output and let me rerun the code oops i have done some mistake yes uh, people yeah that should be person Let me rerun it. Yes, as you can see, is every adult is false now. And let me give you another example. Is every one over fifteen? So in this time, just as previous example people dot every person percent dot age i'm using 15 this time and let me look to the console and let's see the output and in this time we have 17 56 33 and 47 all the values are over 15 and in this time it should return true is every 115 and let me clear the output and rerun the code yes is every 1 over 15 is true now and let me give another example we sum this time const is any this time we'll see over 60 is anyone over 60 and just like our previous example i'm using people dot sum and arrow function person 
person dot age is greater than 60 this time so here none of the ages are of 60 so this time actually it should return false because we have 47 56 and yes 33 and 17 and this time everyone every returns false uh, thank you guys i hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something and see you again with another video